Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Thursday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Thursday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. All right, so we have a problem here that is related to slopes and equations of the lines. So it says line GH passes through the coordinate 2 and 5, 16 and 9. Find the equation of GH. So we got two points but nothing else, and you know that's ultimately what makes this problem challenging. So what can we possibly do with these points? Well, a lot of things. We can find out the slope of the GH, and then from that we can find the coordinates and then we can use the point slope formula and get our answer. But first step we have to use the slope formula and get the slope. So in order to do that we have to write the formula. So it says m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then we have to name our coordinates. It doesn't matter which one we pick, but I'm just going to go with x1, y1 for this one, and then x2, y2 for this one. And now all we have to do is just plug them into the formula. So our y2 is going to be 9, minus y1 which is going to be 5. Then we have x2 is going to be 16 minus x1, which is going to be 2. And from this, we're going to get 4 at the top and then 14 the denominator. And let's see, we can divide both sides by 2. So when we do that, 4 divided by 2, it's going to be 2. And then 14 divided by 2, that's going to be 7. And there's nothing else that we can do. All right, so we got the slope. Slope is represented by m. Now we have to use the point slope formula to get our equation. So the point slope formula says y minus y1 equals m times, m is our slope, x minus x1. All right. So now we have to plug in our points again to this formula and then I believe we can get our answer. So y minus, oops, our y1 is 5 equals, our slope is 2 over 7 times x minus, our x1 is 2. Alright, we're almost there. We just have to clean this and then I believe we can get our answer. So you know, equations of the lines usually follow a general formula, and that is, let me write it here, y equals mx plus b. m is our slope, b is the y-intercept, but we have everything here, we just need to, you know, just clear it out. So, we need to get y by, y by itself here, so that means we have to move 5 to the other side, but we need to make sure that since it's negative 5, and we move it to this side, it's going to be positive 5. So we're going to have 2 over 7 times x minus 2. Then we're just going to move this 5, so it's going to be positive 5. And now we have to multiply or distribute 2 over 7 here. So we have y equals... Oops. So we have y equals 2 over 7 going to be times this x and then it's going to be times 2. So it's going to be 2 over 7x here. I'll write this again. So it's going to be y equals 2 over 7x and then we're going to multiply this by 2 so we're going to get negative 4 over 7 plus 5. So now we can we can add negative 4 over 7 plus 5. So let's do that. So we get y equals 2 over 7 x, which is our slope. And we know that 5 has a denominator of 1. 
So we can just have 7 as our common denominator here. So it's going to be, oh, let's see, so we have, we're going to have 7, our denominator. So 7 times what give us 7? Seven. 7 times 1 gives us 7, so that means 4 times 1, so it's going to be negative 4. And 1 times what give us 7? Seven. 1 times 7 gives us 7, so we have to multiply 5 times 7, which is going to give us positive 35. Okay, and now we can get 31 over 7. Since the 4 is negative, we have to subtract. So now we're going to get our final answer to be, let me write in a different color. So we're going to get, let's see, we're going to get y equals 2 over 7x. Then it's going to be positive 31, so it's going to be plus 31 over 7 as our final answer. So there we go. Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Thursday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Thursday, happy studying.